times I might just give up on trying. Whoa, that just came. Burn it down! Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm back at it again with another figure unboxing slash review slash whatever you want to call it. Uh, today I have something uh, I haven't opened on this channel before. Uh, it's a uh, McFarlane, which... I haven't done yet. I do collect McFarlane toys. I kind of took a little bit of a break because I'm not, to be perfectly honest, I'm not super into McFarlane toys. Um, I, I'll, I'll discuss that later on, but uh, this is a part of a series I haven't collected in quite a while. It's actually a pretty old figure, I think. Uh, well, probably not that old, um, but regardless... It's a Liu Kang Mortal Kombat 11 figure. And you can see right down here at the bottom, I did pick this up for 7 bucks at my local thrift store. So I got it for cheap, cheap. Uh, but this is not the first Liu Kang I've ever had. This is my second. This is the re-release, actually. So um, let's go over the box real quick. I love these boxes. Uh, they're tight they're small they don't take up too much space gives you plenty of view of the figure so you can see what you're buying uh and it just looks good so you have mortal Kombat at the top if i tilt it a little bit you can see it says uh 14 up not a toy mcfarland toys that's a bit of a contradiction uh Liu Kang down here at the bottom i wonder if there would be a mortal Kombat logo right here probably not but maybe if you turn it around, you get a nice picture of Liu Kang in his action figure form. Keep going around, you have another picture of Liu Kang on the back. 22 moving parts, uh, McFarlane Toys, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Keep going all the way around, you have McFarlane Toys, Mortal Kombat with the nunchucks right there. I've gone through the trouble of opening this box, so we don't have to waste too much time on this, but these boxes are a pain, so I guess no matter what... You're going to waste time on it. So, one thing about these figures, I'm not saying you should do it, but if you wanted to, comes with cardboard that you could use to display your figure, because it usually comes with some nice art in the back. It doesn't really stand up well, but if you put it against your shelf wall or whatever, it kind of works. I, I wouldn't do it. Just because it looks lame. And then you can't get the stand for your figure. Um, as if you could in the first place. And that's an, another annoying thing. In order to get the stand, you have to destroy the whole box. So you can never put it back again if you wanted to. Which I don't. Uh, these stands kind of suck ass. All my DC uh, McFarlane toys and Mortal Kombat McFarlane toys and all my... McFarlane toys have these. They, uh, you plug your figure into the little peg right there. And it's good for a while, but my main issue with McFarlane toys is the joints are so... Specifically, the ankle joints are so fucky. That even having your, uh, figure stand there, over time, it will tilt and tilt and tilt. Because these are heavy figures. And then it'll just fall over and knock all your figures over. So these don't do a very good job of holding the figure. Um, they're uh, nice to have. They're better than nothing, but uh, they just don't do much. So I I use them, but I don't. Um, it just kind of depends. If it falls off one too many times, I might just give up on trying. Whoa, that just came right on out. So, I say I dislike McFarlane figures. That's a bit of an exaggeration. I love McFarlane figures. I have major issues with McFarlane figures. So I'll go over them when I talk about the figure. First, we'll go over the uh, accessories, of course. I'll put them on the peg so you can stand right there. See, it works, but in... Three months, it's going to go blank like that. And then, yeah, so it works to start. 
Um, but you definitely need something uh, a little bit stronger later on because these are heavy, heavy figures. There's a lot of plastic in them. Uh, it doesn't come with a lot of accessories. It comes with this nice nunchuck. Highly detailed. That's one thing about McFarlane figures. These details are immaculate. I don't know if you could tell. Uh, I'll try and cover it. Uh, you can see the bumps and the the ridges and the edges and all that stuff. Very highly detailed. You can see a lot there. It feels good to touch. It's a nice quality product for him to hold. Um, if you can get his hands to open up enough to hold it. I digress. It also comes with two hands. One Kung Fu pointy hand. I assume this will be like a Mortal Kombat move where he's like shooting a fireball or whatever. And then a karate chop. Alternating hands. They are left and right hands, of course. It's hard to show these. Um, but yeah, this is more like a karate chop. This is more like a flu. Like a flu. I guess. Um, they will go there. Uh, just to show you what it looks like. Uh, let's put it in this hand. Um, let's start from the chain and work our way up, huh? How does that sound? Maybe not. Let's see. These are so tight and these are always oversized. Okay. Now go all the way around. Actually, I could just... No, that would not work. Go around, go around, go around, and we're almost there. Almost. And that's what it would look like in the hand. They give it too much of a bend here, so it doesn't look very dynamic. When you're swinging a nunchuck, it would probably like be more in motion, so it would probably be more like here, or here, or here. You can't see anything I just did. It would be more like like that, as opposed to just like a bend. That looks more like a exercise thing where you hold it in your hand like that and kind of crunch it like that. Uh, but it still uh, looks good for now. It works. Um, if that's what you wanted it for. Going over the figure, of course... Let's start at the top. This is a really nice head sculpt. This looks like Liu Kang. Uh, it doesn't have much going for it, but Liu Kang's kind of a boring character. He doesn't have much going for him. Not He's not a boring character. He's the um, less interesting character, let's put it that way, because I Liu Kang is one of my favorite Mortal Kombat fighters. But let's be honest... He's not as interesting as everyone else on the roster. Uh, he's just kind of a boring, like, dude. Like, Liu Kang. Woo! Uh, I, I, <laughs> but I digress. Moving down, you have r really nice detail on the chest. Looks amazing. Nice musculature. Uh, going down to the, the... Forearms, the nice gauntlets here. That is bent out of place. That should be pointed up. Let's see if the other... Yeah, should look more like that. That's a bummer. I did buy it on sale, so I can't be too mad, but that is a bummer. Looks good, though. Uh, let's look at this one. Focus on this one. Looks good. Nice details. Lots of deep red ridges and holes and designs and everything. Uh, McFarlane loves his details. I don't know how these figures are only $20. McFarlane figures are probably among the most detailed figures you're going to get at this price point. Uh, it just looks amazing. Uh, and then we have these beautiful black and yellow Kung Fu pants. They almost look reminiscent of Bruce Lee. I assume that's probably what they're going for uh, with his black and yellow jumpsuit. Um, Mortal Kombat's always uh, playing pop culture references like that a uh, nice black design that goes d down and then kind of splinters off in different directions oh he also has a nice belt here that comes with a little tassel 
right here so you can have a tassel there if you wanted it and then uh down to the boring ninja shoes nothing much to talk about there going to articulation this is where i have most of my issues with mcfarlane figures you can see i'm trying to get this to go down because it doesn't want to go down this arm's fine this arm's sticking out a bit and it looks odd so uh, mcfarlane figures when it comes to articulation are overall fine they're okay uh but they fall short in a lot of areas starting with the head can he look up no he cannot can he look down? He can look down. Can't look up, but he can look down. We go all the way around. Yeah, he can do that. It kind of it hurts to do it to move his head because these it's hard plastic. Can it swivel? I'm gonna say no. That may look like a swivel. It's more like a, a twist. That's not a swivel. Okay, moving on to the arms. It is, uh, it's not a butterfly joint, it's a different type of joint, where instead of a butterfly joint, it's this, um, buffer area that you plug the arm into that gives it an extra degree of rotation, so it allows the shoulder to come forward a bit, come back a bit. I guess it's like a buff butterfly joint, but it goes down and up, too, which... Yeah, butterfly joints only swivel in and out. So th this is more like um, like um, a, a a spinning plate kinda. I guess is how I would define it. Uh, so it gives you a lot, but does it though? Cause that's my pup kicked my tripod. No pup. Uh, that's kinda. I mean, it's a little bit higher than other figures, but that's not much. Can it come forward that much? I mean, I guess it's kind of sticking. It's you're not getting much more out of this than you would with a diff, like a regular butterfly joint, and you're like you're losing some posability here because uh, th this one I'm not having the issues with, but most of my McFarlane figures when I try and lift the arm up. That happens. Nine times out of ten. Why is that? Ew, what is that? Ew. Is that lube? Okay, well, it has that. Nine times out of ten, when I try and move a McFarlane figure shoulder piece, that will happen. And it is infuriating. So you get a nicer look at the joint I was talking about. Uh, yeah. It kind of, it pops out if you want it to. It just gives it a little bit more room to breathe, which I appreciate. It just doesn't do much. And then when you try and move the arm, it just pops out. It's like a ultimate edition in the sense that you're getting all this extra articulation, but it's harming the figure overall because the figure malfunctions. Um... Is it that big of a deal? Eh, no, not really. Um, it still, it goes up. It swivels all the way around. Uh, swivels here at the bicep. It It's doing all the normal things you would want in your figure. So that looks good. Double jointed, not pinless, but it can still go pretty far. Here's another point of contention I have with these figures. These wrists are on... They're not ball joints, but they are on a ball-like joint, I guess. I guess this is a ball joint. I don't know. It doesn't look like a ball joint. Uh, it does not feel good. That doesn't... It's so stiff and so hard to move that I don't like it. It works, and it does its job. I just don't like it. It's not fun to to use. Um, but it goes in and out and spins all the way around. But again, is this better than other figures? Is it better than what other figures can provide us? Ah, no, not in my eyes. 
yes, you could spin it around and then you can move the, the wrist up like that. Okay. I, I really, it, it doesn't give me enough for me to like it that much. Uh, going on to another point I strongly dislike about McFarlane toys. You bend any of these joints and look at that. Look at that cut right there. It's worse on uh, other figures. I have a uh, Peacemaker figure, which, to begin with, the head sculpt on that figure is among the worst I've ever seen in a figure. But then when you bend the arm, there's a giant gap, like that big, missing from the figure so that he could bend his arm. Why? It looks so ugly. Uh, if we keep moving down, not great ab crunch. Uh, I hate the McFarlane, the McFarlane abs, because you don't, what's the point? You don't get anything out of it. Why? There might as well be nothing there. You're not getting anything. He can go back. Most of these guys can go back, and that's actually because of what's down there, not because of what's up here. This is doing a little bit, but not much. I mean, you literally could just have nothing there, make it just a flat surface, and you'd be doing the same thing. And I'll show you here in a little bit. They actually do that, and it, it does the same thing. Uh, I do like down here, uh, if you compare this to like an AEW figure, the down, the, the lower ab crunch, the lower abdomen, significantly better than the AEW figures. I know this isn't anywhere near comparable to an AEW figure, but since they have similar ideas going here with the, the ab crunch being right here and then the lower one being down there, they have similar ideas. This executes it much better in the lower end. In the upper end, not nearly as much. And then we move on to another thing I dislike about McFarlane toys, the diaper. Now, the diaper doesn't look bad uh, initially. Um, but once you start moving things around and it gets stretched out and you start moving the figure into different positions, this gets warped and gross and... I'm I'm talking about things and then it's the figure itself is not providing an example of it. But in every McFarlane figure I have, they have the diaper and you just bend the leg and the diaper goes wonk. Or I have a Superman figure where the diaper squeezed in the center so it it's like an oval shape and it's tight in the middle, wide on the side and it looks disgusting. Um, but as far as articulation goes, he can go up to about, yeah, that's pretty good. About 90. Uh, and just for those who don't know what I mean when I say the diaper, the diaper, what McFarlane does for his crotch pieces is instead of them being a regular old plastic piece, uh, they're made more out of this hard plastic so that they move with the figure. So if I move this leg back, uh, the the pants move with it which in theory is a good idea it's just figures aren't perfect so that they always constantly warp and bend and break and it looks bad in the end i don't like what i'm trying to describe here is with most things do the ends justify the means and with these figures i don't think so so that's what I'm trying to say. Is it a bad figure? No, I'm not trying to say that. I'm just, these are my complaints about these figures, and that's it. That's all I'm saying. These are my complaints. Doesn't make this figure bad in any way. Um, so if we move down to the knees, you can kind of see, uh, it doesn't go up very high, but you can kind of see another example of my issue. It doesn't look bad from the front, but if I turn it to the side and it focuses... You see that ugly little chunk there? See, why would I want to pose my figure in any other way other than just like that? I don't want to see that. Like, give me just a knee joint. Jesus, my dog is going crazy. 
Uh, the ankle is again on one of those weird joints that just, I have so much trouble trying to get my figure to stand because I just can't get this to cooperate. And then it has a toe hinge, uh, just cause <laughs> I don't like toe hinges because they always contribute to the figure falling. I'll have my guy standing like this and the toe hinge is supposed to like support him, but then it just keeps going. So that's one issue I have with these, um, with the toe hinges. If you like toe hinges, more power to you. I just don't love them. Uh, I could take them or leave them, but I understand they're a popular uh, part of figure collecting. Okay, so before I finish this um, figure review, I'm going to do a quick little comparison because I have the original Liu Kang. Uh, the one that came in red. So this is a little bit more drastic than just a simple recolor. Of course, this guy comes with a shirt. Um, but beyond that, it's just the same figure. Uh, it, it's red and brown instead of yellow and black. You got the silver bits. You have the same bits. Everything's the same. This one actually features a little bit more work on it because it has a red uh, red paint for the dragon breath. While as this one is missing that. It's there. You can see the dragon breath is there, but it's just missing like some paint. I don't know if it's supposed to have paint there, but like you, you, the, the red details here kind of bring this out a little bit more. What I'd like to do is like mix and match. So I'd like to take these gauntlets and this head and put it here, maybe? Would that even work? I don't know if it'd be worth it. Um, but anyways, uh, it does come with the same um, nunchuck, just in a different color. This one actually features the gold chain. This one's a silver chain with the yellow um, wood bits, I guess is what this is. A wood bit? I don't know. Um, it, and I like this headband a lot. It makes it look really nice. The just standard black one looks good. It's just a little boring. Um, yeah, I mean, they're the same figure. This one with the shirt, it can't move nearly as much. But I think comparatively, <laughs> see, this is what I mean by these stands don't hold them up much. This guy, because of this lower abdomen, he's allowed to move a little bit more. Uh, but the top abdomen might as well not even be there. This guy can kind of do the same thing. It's a little bit tighter for him. But overall, I don't know. I like... Okay, for me, I treat McFarlane figures like statues that you can pose and I treat Marvel legends and uh, WWE elites like action figures. You know, my nephews can play with them. I could pose them. I can throw them against the wall. They'll be fine. These guys, they're essentially statues and that's fine. I'll live with that. I'm okay with statues, especially at this quality and at this price. So I'm not trying to say these are bad figures. I just wanted to point out some of the reasons why I don't particularly collect these figures as often as I do other figures. Uh, of course, I did find this guy for about $6, so he was a little bit easier to pick up. But for the most part, I, I look, I don't touch. That's kind of how I am with McFarlane figures. At the moment, I I... I haven't seen some cool McFarlane figures that I've been wanting to buy, but I don't know. I'm thinking about collecting the uh, Arkham City figures. They are at my local Target right now. It's just hard, man. I don't know. I collect two lines right now, and that's a lot to three lines because AEW. Um, it's a lot to keep up with, but I digress. Which is a word I've said a lot today. Um, <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys think of these figures down below. Do you agree with what I'm saying here? I love these figures. I love these 
statues, I guess, is what I could call them. Because they're not, they're not toys. It even says on the box, these are not toys. So, uh, but I, I still love them. I like the way they look. They look amazing. I mean, look at that. Look at that face. Look at that face. They're the same face, but look at them. Um, <laughs> there's not much more to say about it. I, I just, I don't know. I have some thoughts on these guys. I don't know. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a subscribe. All the YouTube things that people ask you to do, just do them for me. <laughs> Please. I beg you. Um, and yeah, I will be back hopefully with another video very soon. Bye.